Is there an afterlife or is this the only life we get? Most believe science says there is no afterlife. But this view, while common, is wrong. It required thousands of years of careful study of the natural world. Today, modern science offers answers to this age-old mystery. Contrary to popular wisdom, the existence of an afterlife is an inescapable conclusion of many of today's scientific theories. In this article, we will review 10 scientific theories that predict an afterlife. These theories come from diverse fields of science. They include cornerstone theories of physics such as quantum mechanics and special relativity, as well as theories fundamental to the fields of cosmology, biology, neuroscience, and technology. We will review these theories and see what they imply for the afterlife. You will see why rational, evidence-based, scientists were brought to the conclusion that there is life after death. By the end of this article, you will share in their understanding. You will know what we can expect of the afterlife, if our modern scientific theories are true. Testable and Untestable Predictions In science, theories often make predictions that can't be tested. For example, the theory for why stars shine predicts that right now a photon is leaving from the far side of the sun. We can never test this prediction. This photon is moving away from us at the speed of light. We can never catch up to it. Absent the existence of a mirror in the right place at the right time to reflect it back, this photon will remain forever beyond our light cone and therefore inaccessible to us. Nonetheless the existence of this photon is a prediction that follows from an established theory. Accordingly, our confidence in this photon's existence remains as high as our confidence in that theory. Therefore, a scientist who believes in the theory will believe in the existence of this photon, despite our total inability to ever see it. Some predictions of a theory are testable, others aren't. Though we can't test all predictions of a theory, our confidence in a theory increases as we test and confirm more of a theory's predictions. Each successful test builds our confidence in that theory. As that confidence grows, so too does our confidence in all the predictions of that theory. This includes predictions we haven't yet tested, as well as the predictions which aren't testable. Each time we drop something and see it fall we perform another test of the theory of gravity. This theory predicts a one-ton diamond would fall if dropped. Though we have never encountered a one-ton diamond to test this prediction, we are confident in the theory of gravity. Therefore we are confident that one-ton diamonds fall when dropped. We can be very confident in untested predictions. This is the situation for afterlife predictions. Predictions of an afterlife represent the untestable predictions of otherwise testable theories. Theories predicting life after death. Short of dying and experiencing the afterlife for yourself, science has no way to directly test the existence or absence of an afterlife. Nonetheless, just as gravity predicts one-ton diamonds to fall, several theories in science tell us that life continues after death. The existence of an afterlife, though untestable, is a prediction of well-tested, well-established, and well-accepted theories. Accordingly, our confidence in the existence of afterlife, should be as high as our confidence in the theories predicting it. Theories and Predictions The following are some of the theories predicting an afterlife. These are not obscure theories, but theories taken seriously and used by working scientists in their fields. Some of these theories even rank among the most strongly confirmed theories in all of science. 1. Cosmic inflation predicts you will live again. 2. Mechanism predicts you will reincarnate. 3. The concordance model predicts you have infinite incarnations. 4. Quantum mechanics predicts you are subjectively immortal. 5. Special relativity predicts you have an eternal existence. 6. Biological immortality predicts you can be made immortal. 7. 
The simulation hypothesis predicts you are already immortal. 8. The technological singularity predicts you will be resurrected. 9. The transcension hypothesis predicts you are part of a godlike mind. 10. Open individualism predicts you live wherever there is life. For there to be no afterlife, all of these theories must be wrong. If just one of these theories is right, then this life will not be your last. Let's review each of these theories in detail. We will see what each theory is about, what it explains, who originated it, why scientists believe it, and what it can tell us about the life after this one.